say it's obviously worked. Oh, yeah, so there's <laughs> point anyway. <laughs> be my ideal to establish a little place that would become a favorite. A lot of the decisions were made here at Pascal's before. When I say decisions, I mean decisions to the strategy that were used when they go on marches to civil rights leaders. And many, many times Dr. King would regroup his people here to plan their next march. Uh, years ago, uh, the the students would be arrested in the downtown areas when they were having the sit-ins, and first their parents would uh, come to Pascal's to wait for them here until they were released from jail. Thank you. Over the years, Pascal's has become as famous for its political clientele as for its fried chicken. Name a famous civil rights leader. Name a famous black politician, and chances are Pascal's has served them. James Pascal likes that. He wants that to continue. He wants them to come here and eat and to drink and to talk. But he confided in me he prefers the fried chicken to the politics. At Pascal's, I'm Mark Picard, and this is Atlanta at Large.